Stop lying to your followers. people even my genetic marker says I need a good sleep and good sleep for me is 11 11 30 to like 8 9 a.m. back to this uh, so I have been searching for a place with donuts in Milan for quite some time now and last night of course it's 1 a.m. What was I doing? I was looking up food. Um, and as I mentioned, I don't really order, I basically never order drinks, but I really felt like a nice cappuccino. Um, and seeing everything is closed anyways, there's no kind of, there's no alternative. And I don't think you can do takeaway cups now because of the whole COVID situation. So let's see what we've got. Uh, donut! Sort of. So I, I, I wasn't able to find the ones with the hole. Actually, I did order one that said donut, but let's see if it actually is. Like this one is with cream. Oh yeah, it is a donut. Oh my god. Oh, I should have ordered two of these. Because, oh. It's about simple for our pleasures in life. Yeah, so it's impossible to find donuts. I guess not impossible because I did find them. Nearly impossible to find donuts in Milan. And this one is called, I think, Ciambello. Cambello? Ciambello, I think. And uh, I looked it up and basically that shows either donut or this big cake with a hole in the middle that they called like they call ciambello ciambellino or something like that ciambellone uh, and uh, basically I was like oh I've seen that cake like a piece of that cake sold in so many cafes so I wasn't sure that the donut would actually come as a donut google results mostly showed that big cake as a result for the word one good thing about deliveries here in Milan, because in London I always felt bad ordering, and actually I think I cook here a lot more than I did in London, um, because in London most delivery guys come by motorbike, motorcycle, motorcycle, and obviously you know, I've got that kind of carbon footprint as well, and also I've noticed that most eateries here use a lot less plastic when they do takeaway so a lot of times the food will actually come in just cardboard like paper kind of boxes you know um, and all the delivery guys here actually ride an electric bicycle so it's almost green seeing it's friday i decided i'm going to get dressed up and put on some makeup because why not we're going to do a little unlock thing so might as well look fancy but I'm not sure about the hair I don't know if I should leave this I do really love a, an 80s type band hmm. what do you think why am I asking you're not here live with me But you can still tell me what you think. I feel like with short hair, because I, when I have long hair, I'd wear the band a lot, but I would uh, put the hair back 
and then a ponytail or a bun. But now with short hair, I feel like, you know, it's the time to do it because you get this really kind of nice situation here. So it feels more composed, if that makes sense. Okay, I uh, need some perfume first. This is a mess, I need to clean this up. Look how cute all of this my baby sister did for me. I mean, I call her baby, she's 14, but she's a baby for me. <laughs> um, but how cute was that? Because I had an at-home shoot for a magazine and she really like put an effort here. I'm trying to keep this together. Uh, let's see. Lavender. Um, oh, I'm going to do this one. First, I made myself a cup of matcha to keep warm. Okay, I ended up taking the headpiece off. It just looked a bit too messy in the camera, I think because my hair is not washed. So then it just looks very like erect. Let's get started then. So let's start from this one. Aquazura sent me this gift. Uh, so just to mention, they're all gifts from brands. Yeah, disclaimer, these are all gifted. Oh, this is so cute. At home shoes for the lockdown from Aquadura. Really cute. With that pom-pom, pom-pom? Pom-pom? I don't remember what these are called. I think they're pom-poms, right? Um, oh, they're really comfy as well. Kind of like Crocs, but like chic Crocs. <laughs> Next. For some reason, I, I received a lot of shoes this week. Okay, so the next one, I didn't actually know this was coming, and I think I know what it is. I mean, I take a sneak peek, but it was unexpected because um, I didn't know the brand. I saw it on a few girls that I know, influencers, who were posting about having done a collaboration with them. So that was how I found out about the brand. But to see it at the concierge, I was like, Oh, that's weird. I wonder why and how. And then I opened it. Oh, it's not actually here. So I think maybe it's in the other room. I opened it and the letter said, uh, I hope you enjoyed my shoes. Bettina. Now, Bettina is a friend of mine and I absolutely love her. And she did a collaboration with them as well. So she decided to surprise me with the shoes that she designed for this brand and I've seen them on her Instagram see how well I, I know these shoes because I've seen Bettina wear them I knew to look for the chain in the box I'm so excited about them because I, I saw them on Bettina's wall and I really love them. I thought they're such a beautiful classic. I love the shape. It's really nice. I just got a little crystal here. Let me try this. What don't I do for you to show you? Oh. There we go. 
Really nice. I think I'm just going to film a close up and I'll put the other one on as well. I think that's how you're meant to do it. Here they are. Super elegant. Really comfortable. I really love the heel as well. And another way I love to wear these shoes is actually when I have wider trousers, sorry, longer trousers that need cutting. I normally don't love cutting them because I just never know what uh, height of the heel you're gonna wear them with. But I love doing that. And then it looks really, really cool. Let's open Now this, I know what it is because I actually selected them. Uh, the other two pairs, I didn't actually know they were coming, so it was kind of a surprise for me as well. I'm going to say that we need to take it off anyway. Ta -da 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 -da. about uh, they're from Gia Firenze it's a shoe brand based in Italy they're just so cool for autumn winter I don't actually have any white boots no I have a pair of white boots but they're very kind of 60s thin white boots 60s 70s and I don't have anything that's kind of chunky and I love wearing tall boots, especially chunky ones, because what I love doing is when I wear a longer dress in autumn, winter, or when I wear a uh, mid skirt, something kind of more serious. Maybe you saw recently I wore this red suit in Rome, and I wore it with, it's a vintage one, and it's very kind of chic and, uh, wasted and you'd think you know what a lady except i wanted to bring in something spicy because i love wearing weird sunglasses like very sporty sunglasses with very chic elegant outfits so i actually wore that suit with a pair of cowboy boots and it just looked so good and different had i worn it with say a pair of uh flats like ballerinas or moccasins I think they would have uh, the whole look would have looked very conservative um, but this way it just felt very me so same happens with longer skirts dresses I love the chunky boot uh, kind of sticking out from underneath let's try these on I hope the size is right because my Feet are so weird when it comes to sizing. Here we go. They are so cool. Even with trousers like this. Oh, I love them so much. Sorry for the cable, but this is what how it works together, which I think is perfect. I think that's so nice to kind of I love wearing bigger boots on top of wide trousers because then they end up looking very kind of riding style so yeah i'm really into this
that I tried some of the sauce. I, I cannot explain to you how it's, it's out of this world. It's honestly, I swear, and it's not my, it's not my merit at all because I followed a recipe, actually two recipes, I kind of mixed them, but it's probably one of the best things I have ever tasted in my life. It is absolutely divine. I cannot wait a minute. I'm gonna keep licking the spoon for now. I think it's ready now. Oh my god. I'm so excited about this! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so excited because it tasted freaking insane. I don't have naan bread, but I have uh, uh, piadini, which you know, kind of similar. I mean, this is the real hero, so I'm just going to serve it with some piadini. Oh, this looks looks like I don't know gold or something. Oh my god. Daniel will get upset that I was eating before him. Princess is jealous. <laughs> I just love it. My food is good. It's the biggest satisfaction in the world. Daniel! Are you ready for orgasmic food? Tell him he can hear me. I can have his portion. I'll pretend I heard no. So what do you think? <laughs> I'm waiting on your reaction. <laughs> they can still hear you. You don't have to be in the camera. Yeah, that's the box there. Why is that box bothering you? <laughs> mm, it also bothers me that your footage isn't straight. It's like, oh, how's this one okay? Is it better? Yeah. It's very nice. You look silly as well. But it, very nice is not quite what I felt. I felt like, boom! Oh! You think I should blow up with eating your chicken? <laughs> you think your chicken Your is, brain should blow up. So you think your chicken is poisonous? <laughs> My head should literally explode right now. No romance with this one. Explode with feelings mm. and experiences and... Yeah, what was, what was the word you described yourself as having when you tried it? Um, there was a, a feeling you expressed. You said it felt like something. What was that? Um, it was orgasmic. Sorry, a little emergency. I saw a big stain on the table. My favorite dining table, which kind of scared me, but... I hope it's not good. It looks like hardened coffee from the little... When you say this is your big dining table, how many do you have? Where, mm. where are the other rooms in our house? Are we, <laughs> we're dining tables on the I, <laughs> I mean, not just my favorite dining table. My dining table favorite. <laughs> my favorite dining table. <laughs> Ever. Ever. In general. Generally your favorite, but mm -hmm. not specifically your favorite. Just generally it's my favorite, but there are specifically mm. others that I prefer. No, it's not my favorite that I own. It's my favorite altogether. Right. Okay, wow. So when I see another dining table online, I still love mine more. This is just silly. You haven't seen every other dining table, and yet you think that this is the best one. Daniel! People talk that way. You haven't tried all the foods, but I still say my favorite food is cheese. No, I don't. 
I say no. But I'm gonna say cheese is my favorite food. <laughs> Stop lying to your followers that I'm addicted to cheese. I say that and I quoted this myself. Is ridiculous. I didn't want to take responsibility for your statement. Well, you just did, didn't you? So what is your favorite food then? I don't have one. I would just be silly. I haven't tried every food in the world. Pass. <laughs>